All right, welcome to today's video. Today's video is about get mortgage ready. Uh, we're gonna teach you some tools and tricks uh, and tips today about how to prepare and get ready for a mortgage. Face it, you get ready, you, you plan for winter, you, you get excited about summer, you plan for vacation. A mortgage is a very, very big part of the real estate process and you wanna plan and get ready for it to make sure that you're putting the best foot forward. So today we're gonna tell you how to do that. First and foremost, you're gonna to need to prepare your financial documents. So here's some, a list of some of the financial documents you're gonna need. You're gonna need your last two years tax returns. You're gonna need your last two years W-2s. You're also gonna to wanna to collect 90 days worth of pay stubs. All of these documents you're also going to wanna to review. You wanna make sure that you have all pages of your tax returns. You wanna make sure that you have all pages of your bank statements. Bank statements are really important. You're gonna to have to explain any large, uh, any large deposits uh, to make sure that where they come from. So if you're preparing and saving, fantastic. You're gonna be able to need to explain where these deposits came from. You're gonna hear a lot of verbiage or terms from the lenders. We've attached uh, a document here that's free download for you that you can actually uh, explain and it'll explain a lot of these terms. One of the most common one you'll hear is source and season. Uh, your down payment or large deposits. Source and season is sourcing where the money's coming from and seasoning is how long you've had the money. So if you've had a deposit in the last 90 days, you're gonna have to source where that came from. Uh, this is really common when you're looking at your down payments, which is one of the other things that you need to prepare for is your down payment. Find out and figure out and plan where it's gonna come from. If mom or dad or grandma or grandpa are gonna gift you the down payment, be prepared to be able to source and season that. And when that's their money giving to you, they might have to source where it comes from and provide the documentation of the history of that. So parents sometimes always run into a problem with that, or grandma and grandpa don't want to provide you the bank statements, they're just giving you the money. Uh, this is really important in the process. You want to understand these things. Once again, the attachment that we're providing is going to explain all this to you. Please download it and review it with any questions. Uh, also, too, you want to get a copy of your credit report. Review your credit report. Uh, it's extremely important. You know, when, at this point in time, you want to make sure that your credit card balances are as low as possible. So pay those cards down. Get them as close to zero as you can. Uh, also review that those balances are reported correctly on that credit report. Uh, another really important part in reviewing the credit report is make sure that you don't have any negative items on information on there that shouldn't be there. Or try to rectify the negative items that are on there before you start the mortgage process. Uh, we're going to talk about collections uh, also and, and explain what you can do to be able to remove those, to be able to increase your score before the mortgage application process starts. So you're going to be able to get the best rate and the best interest possible. So it's really important. One, to review. Review your financial documents. You need a two-year history worth of tax returns and W-2s. You're going to need 90 days worth of pay stubs. Uh, make sure that you have all pages to all documents. Get a copy of your credit report. Review it. Make sure the balances are reported correctly. Get those credit cards paid down as low as you possibly can. Also, make sure that those negative items that are on there, if they are on there, are reported correctly. If not, work to challenge those. When it comes to collections, make sure you don't just run out and pay those collections. In this review process, one of the most common mistakes we see consumers make is that they see a collection on there and they think, okay, well, I'm going to fix that before I get started, and they just pay that collection. Well, we'll go in more detail about collections a little later, but don't just pay that collection. Paying that collection and making them update that on your credit report doesn't mean it's going to have a positive impact on your credit score or improve it. And credit scores are critical in today's mortgage market. It's going to determine what interest rates you pay, uh, how much mortgage interest you may or may not have, uh, and the terms and conditions of your loan. So the higher the score, the better, the easier the mortgage process is going to be. So review your, your financial documents, prepare the last two years history, and you're on your way to getting mortgage ready.